Yeah, Tom? Yes. Okay. How you doing, Mark? Good, good. Um, yeah, so you're winding down, it appears, with the OTAs. I think tomorrow maybe your last group practice. What, I mean, you could have gone longer, I guess. What, what went into winding down tomorrow? And just in terms of seeing some of these prospects, I mean, what did you see, like, from RJ as the days went along and the practices uh, raged on? Well, I don't know if they raged on, but they were good. Uh, uh, I think the big thing, you know, for the last six weeks or so, we've had a number of players come in. Uh, so the the first week, the phase one week, was we had a, a great turnout for that. And obviously, he was very pleased to have the veterans come in like they did. Uh, and some of the veterans chose not to participate uh, in phase two, which is the contact part of it. And it's understandable, particularly for the free agents. Uh, but I thought our team got uh, a lot out of it. And at some point, we'll go back to basically what we did during phase one, which is uh, we won't be able to have the contact, but we will be able to do our, our player development and also watch film with the players. So we want it to be ongoing. We know how important this off season is for all our players in terms of preparation and development. Next question comes from Ian Bagley. Hey coach, thanks for doing this. Um, you said that you might, you will be able to do more individuals even after this team portion is done. That's the expectation. Uh, yes. Yes. And you know, obviously the, we have to follow the protocol that is set forth by the league, um, but we will have an opportunity to do uh, the individual stuff with the guys that were in the bubble up to uh, October 6th. And then uh, we'll, we're waiting on uh, what we'll be able to do, uh, be able to do with the guys that are out of market. So uh, whatever the league tells us we can do, we will certainly do. And if not, we'll find other ways to, get to our development piece, whether it's through film, um, communication with the players, but we plan on spending a lot of time with our players this off season. Steve Popper gets the next one. Hey, Tom. Um, I, I guess this is a little, everything here is unusual right now. And you've never had, I would guess, a summer camp kind of like this. Just individual workouts, group workouts, you know, what, what do you feel like each one gave you guys? Well, for us, particularly being a new staff, I think it was critical just to get to know the players and the players to get to know us uh, and then to put in the base of the offense, the base of the defense, to give them an idea of how practice will be run and that sort of thing. So I think it was invaluable with, uh, with the understanding that it is unusual. It's it's very different than a, even a lockout season. Uh, when you take a look at where where we are, and currently uh, the the NBA finals are just beginning. So uh, you know this past season hasn't even ended yet. So, but I think we've had a, a very good six weeks, and we want to make sure that we continue to build upon that. Steph Bond, you get the next one. Hey, coach. Um... I just want to ask about Julius Randle. Um, what what have your what were your impressions of him from seeing the tape from last season? Um, you know, I, I guess his usage rate was pretty high, and the offense sometimes ran through him. Um, and what have you seen from him during this um, this mini camp here? And what are your impressions well, of him? Well, the the thing that pleased me most was that he came in prior to even phase one and spent time with us, and then he was there for phase one, and then uh, to come in for phase two. Uh, he's a pro's pro. He, he's in great shape. Uh, he's willing to, to work and do anything that you ask. So uh, I think having that type of leadership is important for our team. Um, and, you know, we, we need a consistency from our entire team. And we also need for everyone to want to continue to improve. And I, I think he's shown that. He demonstrated that to me over the past three or four weeks. Ian Bagley with the next one. Coach, how much, uh, how much five on five were you guys able to do in the team setting? Uh, outside yeah, of and you're trying to strike a balance 
for how much. Some of it was five on five drill work. Some of it was five on five scrimmage. Some of it was build up, whether it was two on two and then going to three on three. Uh, and so we did a little bit of everything. And obviously the, the big thing was trying to figure out how, what type of shape everyone was in and then to move the group along and uh, the conditioning pieces will be critical for us. And that's the first step is for everyone to be in great shape. Mark Berman with the next one. Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, yeah, just about RJ, you know, as the uh, practices went on in the past week, uh, what did you continue to see from him? And, and were you actually surprised that he wasn't named uh, to the all rookie teams? There were two teams and he didn't get uh, on either of them. Yeah, and, and that stuff, I think, you know, I think a lot of that is tied to team success. And that's what everyone has to understand. The better the team does, the more recognition the players will get. And so that's the past. I want him looking forward. Uh, today he had a terrific practice. Today was his best practice. Uh, he's rebounded the ball extremely well. He played make today. He did a great job with that. And so I just want him to concentrate on improvement. Uh, he's a young player. Uh, just getting the work part down, I think that's the first step. The conditioning piece to continue to work on a shooting. Uh, there's a lot of things that he can do well. Steph Bondi with the next one. Hey, Coach, um, you're obviously close and worked with Doc Rivers before. What was your um, reaction when the news came yesterday that he wasn't going to be coaching the Clippers anymore? Uh, I was surprised, like most people. And obviously, I spent a lot of time out there this past season. He's, he's one of my closest friends. We work together in Boston, uh, but Doc is not only a great, great, great coach, he's a great person. Uh, and so I'll, I, I haven't had an opportunity to talk with him, but I'm sure, um, you know, he'll be back very soon. He's a terrific leader uh, and, a, and a great coach. So, but it sort of shows you, you know, the nature of our league and there's constant change. And so you have to adapt quickly and I know he will. And someone will be very fortunate to get a great coach. All right. No more hands are raised. So we uh, thank everyone for their time today. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.